Hello everyone. So we have seen in the previous video that we have created a map of our own residential area as per the given specification that we have to create four areas, four garden, two highway, two railway track, five railway stations, five restaurants, at least two inside the garden. Now, if we are given the next question as we need to find out the track length, area of a garden, area of different sectors, or we want to find out the count of restaurants inside the garden. So how to go about it? First, we will start with the track length. So here, the, we will use the same question that we have created earlier. Now here, we will go with the, we can take the railway tracks. So right click on the railway layer. Now click on open attribute table. So you can see that a table is present at the back end. It is having two columns, ID and name. The names are railway one and railway two. Now you have to click on open field calculator. Now this open field calculator window is open. Here I will write the name as track length. Now, this is a whole number. I can make it decimal if required. And precision is given as output field is of length two and precision, I can keep it up till two digits. Now, I have to still write the formula here. So I will write it as dollar length. Now, you can see the output preview over here that is 2256668. So I'll click on OK. If I want it in kilometers, I can just divide it by 1000. So I'll get 256 kilometers. I'll click on OK. So now the track length column is added to the table. I'll close this attribute table. Now, if I want to find out the area of the garden, so I will go to garden layer here. I will right click and click on open attribute table. Then you can see two columns, ID and name. So here I will again click on open attribute table. Now this attribute table is open. So here I will write the name as area calculation. So this is my column name. Instead of whole number, I can keep it decimal. I can again change the precision to two. And you can write the formula as dollar area. Instead of writing, if you want to select the formula, then you can click on geometry. And from here, you can select the formula. So if you are getting such a big number, you can just divide it by 1000. If you are able to see the output preview, then you will be able to get the output. So I click on OK. Now this area column is also added. So I can get the ID name as well as area calculation. If I want the perimeter of the garden. So again, I have to click on open attribute table. Here I'll create another field that is perimeter. Perimeter. Calculations. Okay, so. Now here. Instead of whole number, if I want decimal, I can keep it decimal and precision will be up till two digits. Now in the geometry, you can see there are so many functions which are already available. So from here, you can select length, perimeter, area, whichever function you want. So I'm just selecting dollar perimeter. So you can see the output preview over here. Now I'll divide it by 1000 to get the output in kilometers. So 
so i have got the perimeter as well so i hope it's clear now if i want to find out if i want to count how many restaurants are present inside the garden so what i have to do this is a vector layer i have to click on vector then analysis tool and then i have to click on count points inside polygon so here i'll click now my first layer is garden second layer is restaurant so i'll click on okay now if you want you can change the column name by default count is the name of the layer so i click here and i click on run so my run is successful i can see account layer i can just right click and go to open attribute table so you will be able to see garden and inside the garden there are inside each garden there is one restaurant if you add more restaurants then the count will automatically increase so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much